Yeah, that's annoying. You can't really aim in this game like that either. Whoa! Whoa! Well, actually, that's not that bad because now I get to kill him. But that's the first time he's ever felt like that. He just bled out. You just saw that, right? <laughs> he just took a butt ton of damage out of nowhere. That's actually really great because he is a really serious enemy here. So the question is, do I fight that guy now? And the answer is, I don't know, but he's pretty scary. I think he might be just... I think he can smack me over the head and go through all of my stamina and one-shot me. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, wing! Consumables. <laughs> All right, thank you very much for participating. Give me your shield. Oh my God, is that a shield? What a piece of shit! <laughs> wow, I didn't get the shield. That makes me pretty salty. That shield, by the way, is the best shield in the game. I think you can uh, upgrade it to the point where it's like 95% stability, which means that. Liar. <laughs> it means that uh, when someone hits you, only 5% of the damage comes out of your stamina bar. And that's really huge. Alright, well, I'll just progress, I guess. Oh, there's a shortcut over here. Uh, I think you go up and down it. Ah. And uh, it unlocks the shortcut in the Carlin train. Um, so yeah, I just want to say that I really like this game. And for a game that came out in 2001. And I'm not even sure if this game came out in 2001. Because it was the Prepared to Die edition that came out in 2001. This game itself came out sooner than that, probably. Hey, that's pretty cool. He can't parry heavy attacks. I think no one can, but I thought he could because, you know, he's kind of broken. And cheesy. Um, anyway, so the graphics are amazing. Uh, just the diversity in this game is amazing. Normally diversity is what like uh, appeals to me when I play video games. Just how many different weapons and characters and stuff you can play and do. And usually you don't get that in games in general because you get a game like Hearthstone that has okay that was a horrible mistake. I'm about to die. <laughs> you play a game like Hearthstone that has you know. 2,000 different cards and no one uses them like 95% of the player population just uses the same 200 cards you know so it's just not fun there's just no randomness there's no risk everyone is playing like a robot uh, same thing can happen to this game but there's still like you know, there will be like 30 weapons that people use instead of 5. And I'm, I'm sure there's a top 5, but now the game is kind of dead, so I guess anyone can use anything they want. There's actually a weapon called, uh, I think it's either the Great Club or something. And that weapon is amazing because it's got like one of the highest attack ranges in the game. And you could just teleport with it, kind of like dash it. And I remember doing that like, 10 years ago when they first found the game. But yeah, it's actually really interesting because I only played this game for the first time 10 years after it's been released. So 
that's pretty that's pretty interesting. I am playing online, but I'm not gonna run into any invaders or anything because again, this game has been out for 16 years and I don't think that anyone is still playing it. And it's interesting because there are it's not true because there are people still playing it. Like, uh, there's people still playing Demon Souls, which I've never played, but apparently Demon Souls is uh, also an amazing game. Or so my autistic friend told me. Oh, mistake, mistake, mistake. Okay. I just want to top myself off because, uh, oh, okay. Apparently, oh my god, dead. I'm gonna have to, like, use the humanity here because... I don't trust myself to dismiss this enemy without getting hit. And you know, the problem is that humanity is kind of like... Actually, I actually have an idea. I could probably make him fall off this cliff and then I can use my humanity. Come here, bro. Over here. Yeah, do that jump back thing. Do it over here. Jump back. They should really give these guys a guard break. That's the wrong way to jump back, bro. Come on, jump off the cliff. Do it. I'm just gonna go over here and just use up my humanity. So the AI is kind of bad, and when they have to... Okay. Yeah, so I would have died if I haven't healed. So the AI is kind of bad. And uh, because of that... Uh, if you run around the corner or go into a doorway, they're gonna get confused. But the interesting thing about the AI actually is uh, if you hit your sword on their shield, they're gonna go for an attack. Which is pretty good in terms of just, you know, combat. But it's pretty bad because a player can use that to their advantage. It's kind of interesting that a game that came out 16 years ago has like advanced, you know, PvP, AI, and stuff. Oh, still human, are you? Then I am in luck. Could you help me? As you can see, I am stuck without recourse. I think this guy only talks to if you're human actually because he just said oh you're still human haha -ha. master key I don't think I actually have to talk to him thank you yes sincerely I am Knight Lautrec of Karim I truly appreciate this and I guarantee a reward only later I wonder how people go to the bathroom in that kind of armor. <laughs> Alright, well, we're basically done here. We just need to get ready to do the boss. And uh, we can probably summon one summon. Probably Solaire because he's tanking. I think you can summon two summons, but the problem is that if you summon both of those guys for this boss fight... Um, I don't know if I mentioned it, but yeah, you can summon people for boss fights. For a second there, I thought I saw something, <laughs> something uh, black. I'm red. I mean, I thought I saw an invader, and I'm like, that's impossible. I didn't see the invader message. You know, I used to do this thing in this game where I would use a uh, program, and I would invade someone's world as a invader. But then I'd sum I'd be summoned in as a white phantom, and I would just help them complete the level. I did that like 20 times before I got bored. <laughs> it was it was interesting. I think you can still uh, do it uh, right now and just go and explore and see what kind of other people are still playing this game and give them a hand with their level be pretty interesting to try. Oh.
No, please. No, please. No, please. Let me out. He doesn't get uh, a hit stun when he hits my shield, which is pretty interesting. I actually like the Dark Souls 1 enemies a lot more than I like Dark Souls 3 enemies. Because they have very simple strings. And the way that people in Dark Souls 3 constantly kept making their game harder and harder is they gave all the enemies infinite stamina and they gave them insane attack strings. So you're, you're like blocking against this enemy and they're just swinging and then they're swinging. It's like two hit combo, three hit combo, four hit combo. It's like, geez, when am I going to get a turn? I really don't like the whole infinite stamina thing. I just think it's it's cheating and unreasonable. Like the player should not be weaker than the enemies and stuff. The player should be at least as strong as a weakest enemy. And then I think in Dark Souls stays the player is actually stronger than weaker than the weakest enemy. Because the weakest enemy can just hit you fucking eight times in a row. So after you hit these guys, you kind of want to stay close. Because they will uh, try to chug. I think this is the same shield as I have. No? What's the st stability? Yeah. My shield is just slightly superior. In uh, fire and light and stability. Never mind, this shield sucks. My shield is actually better. But the shield that I'm using, you can actually buy later on in the game. I don't actually have to do any of this stuff, but I'm just exploring. I did not attack that. That was weird. Is this a great idea or is this a horrible idea? It's a great idea. Oh, there's an item there. I think that's the key to Lotric's chamber, actually. So, I'm not sure, but I think it is. So that's kind of interesting. Um, I don't really think I have to complete that area. I guess I could. Whoa. Come on, hit him. Hit him. Turn around. Okay, we're good. I did not mean to attack block guard break there. Yeah, so that the mystery key opens up the guy that we talked to. I don't think there's anything in these barrels. Oh, I just fell. Kill him quickly. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, please. Okay, we're good. I like killing those like hollows a day at a time. All right. Well, we basically completed everything here, except for the night, which I don't think we can even complete him because like he's just too ownage. Like, then we have to upgrade our shield a bunch. Oh, that was 
in the long pocket. Well, it was in the phone, but yeah, whatever. So you can actually use that uh, information that they uh, swing when when they when you hit their shield and they blocked it, they will swing. So you can actually use the information like I did just now. I just attacked three times in a row and that ended up helping me to just kill him because when he started swinging his sword I was already swinging. Anyway so we're done here we just need to do the boss. Now the question is do I want to invest the 5k souls that I have into 16 strength so I can use the dragon sword? Or do I want to invest them into a stronger shield so I can go kill Havel, Havel and the Black Knight? Because I don't think I can kill the Black Knight with my current shield. Because he'll just smack me over the head and I'm just going to die. Alright, there's no bonfire here. So something that's weird in this game is that you have to use the sprint button to sprint and uh, when you do that you have to take off your finger off of the right stick so you can't sprint and move the camera at the same time which is kind of aids but it's fine. Hmm. Hmm. I was absorbed in thought. I am Ziegmeier of Katarina. Quite honestly, I've run flat up against a wall. Or a gate, I should say. The thing just won't budge. No matter how long I wait. And oh, have I waited. So, here I sit, in quite a pickle, weighing my options, so to speak. <laughs> oh, what do we have under here? Still closed. Still closed. Mm. Oh. You can actually see through the opening in his helmet. Eh. Eh. Oh. Wow, look at that. You can actually see some freaking facial hair on the game that came out 16 years ago. What is wrong with his chin? It looks like someone just like punched him with a brass knuckle on his chin and now he's missing like bone mass. What the hell? He's blinking. He's blinking. A game that came out 16 years ago on console has blinking. What the hell? Like the quality in this game is amazing. The attention to detail is amazing. What is under there? Just abyss I'm assuming. Strength. And then we're just gonna try to get as much um, shield upgrades as possible. So I'm gonna use up all the consumable souls. So the soul packets they just give you. Um, Um, so the soul packets, they just do what it says on the tin, it just gives you souls. So we have our level 16. Um, I mean we have our 3k souls, so let's just go try to upgrade our shield. I just realized that I leaned back and I don't think I could hear my mic anymore. So... Well, you must be a new arrival. I'm Andre of Astora. If you require smithing, then speak to me. Whatever. 
Um. So there's a shield. Only 200 souls. That's great. But now we need Tyranite. <laughs> Wow, that is expensive. 800 each? Jeez. Alright, we got a free gesture. Wish I could just rob him and just take his Tyranite shards. So we have 60 stability now. Go get yourself killed. Neither of us want. I think that was probably a mistake. So the question is, how much stamina do I have? 98. So when I increase my stability by one point, I'm only increasing my total stamina by one. Sounds like it's a lot better to just upgrade my stamina because if I upgrade my stamina, I get like 10 points per upgrade. don't have enough souls to upgrade my stamina. Uh-oh. That was a mistake. Mistake! I don't think I can go kill the Black Knight or Havel at this point. I think I killed them in the, like, the last time. Hmm. Hmm. Ow! How rude. There you go, 300 damage. It's like three times more than before. So this sword is only good for early game. Oh, I got another helmet. So you need to kill another enemy. Any enemy. Any enemy. Right, I forgot, we're supposed to do the boss now. That's actually really gonna help. Come on, walk into my attack. Good job, walk into my attack, yeah. So anyway, I'm just gonna go do the boss now. Boulder shield? Really? Yeah, this thing has pretty good stamina. 63. That's more than I already have. I can't parry with... Oh, I can. Okay. <laughs> nice. I'm just going to use this shield. Nice. Um, I did... I do like this shield. And I would use it if I could. Which is... Now. I'm going to use it now. But I could never use the shield. That's because you need to kill like a hundred knights to get the shield. And that's not easy. And I just... I forgot these guys exist, so I just screwed myself. <laughs>